Open up the door, I'm coming in now. I said, I don't know. I don't know where she at every goddamn day. I don't know. Hey, all the techniques right. don't work. You're I'm right. his daddy. Yes, right. I am. Why right. are you here? By the way, where's that camera at? You got yeah, the come camera? Come on, Kevin, run that shit. Yeah, run that. remember uh last episode um we went to the apartment the lady was cussing us out calling us all, all type of names um, we're actually going to the co-signer house of the bond right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this guy an option either he can pay me the money for the bond or he has to figure out where she's at because i don't believe that he doesn't know so that's his go that's going to be his only two options and i told you guys hey if you pay the money for the bond then I don't need nothing else to do with you. You can go about your business. So we'll see what happens. We only want to protect the money. We're loaning people money. And if they don't go to court, we lose that money. So we have to protect that. That takes money out of our pockets, you know, food off our plates for our family. So we got to protect that. So that's why we are here hunting, to protect the money. Okay, if you need any help, you let us know. Okay. We're now at the co-signer's house from the bond. You guys see me up with Melissa. I'm going to actually take a little bit of control of it. Um, I feel, you know, just because no one's talked to the signer, so I want to get a feel for this guy. You know, I feel like he's lying. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some threats, and I'm going um, I'm going to follow through with him. So let's see what happens, man. I'm going to actually call him because he's a trick, man. You know, this was the sugar daddy. He got her out. He got a wife. He don't want his wife to know about this. So I won't tell her as long as he helps. If he don't, I give him no fucks. Hello. Is this Jerry? Yeah. Jerry, my name is Frank. I'm the bell bondsman. I'm the one that's taking taking over now. Um, are you home? Yep. Come outside. Huh? Come outside. Tried to get a hold of her. Her boy's in prison or in jail. His girlfriend wanted me to try to bail her out. And I said, "Have Cherry turn herself in." Yeah. So, so you don't have a clue where she is. Yeah. You got the fifteen thousand? Yeah, sure. We got it. We can get out of here. Huh? We got it now. No. Okay, you need it now. Well, I mean, you need. I told the lady the other day, I need the paperwork I signed. I'll give her the check. That's all you need is the paperwork you signed. Yeah. Okay. I can pull up a blank what you signed. No, I need to see my signature on this stuff. So you, you, you're saying you don't know what you signed? I want to see where I signed, okay? I didn't, it didn't give me a copy. I just want to see. But you know what you signed? Yeah, basically, but I'm responsible for the money. Okay, so, so there you go. There you go, I want to see it. Okay, so you're not, so if I get you the paper right now, you're going to cut a check for 15000 Sure. You're going to cut a check. Now, the only problem with that is, did they actually cancel the bond? There's no bond canceled. You owe the money. Okay, well, then I need to see the paperwork. All right, we'll get you the paperwork. You can write a check right now. A cashier's check. No, he, he's going to write a check. I'm gonna, he, he wants to see where he signed at. So we'll end this real quick. Just send me a copy of all the paperwork. See, my lawyer was telling me until that bond was canceled, I shouldn't pay you. Yeah. What do you mean counseling? Well, what do you what term on it? Are you being a I mean I'm a nice guy. Okay, don't don't act like you're gonna whip my ass, okay? I didn't act like I was. Well no, you're you know, you're, you're, you're I'm just saying. I don't, I don't believe nice you, I'm be honest with you, I don't believe you. What do you think? I think you push it. You've known it too long, I think you're helping it. No. Yeah. No, I would I'll tell you what. If I could fight punch her in the face and have her arrested right now, I'd be glad to do it. Glad to. I'm just gonna get the paperwork. Who am I writing this check to? Let me see your ID. Why am I not dealing with Michelle anymore? Because I'm taking over. I'm the one that has no other hunts. So the 
insurance doesn't say federal bondsman. Yes, yeah, it says Department of Insurance. Yeah, but it doesn't say that. Why would it say? Line. Why would it say? I expect you to have a card that says you're Yeah, you want a business card? I can get you a business card. You can yeah, Google it. Don't, don't, don't. Why else would I be here? I don't know. Okay, why would I call Melissa on the phone if I'm not who I am? You can Google me. Google my name. There you go right there. Here's my card. Right here. So what do you got for me when I give you this check? <clears throat> what do I have for you? Mm -hmm. I'll write you a receipt. And that'll be it. It's not checking you a cashier's check. Well, I can't Make get sure a cashier's check now. I can't write you a cashier's check. Yeah, you gotta go to the bank for it. What time you bank for it? I'm gonna write a check on a equity loan, so it's gotta clear. So you have three days for it to clear. You don't want it. Come back in three days. No, there's other ways you can do it. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm done with you guys. I just want you out of my life. You're not done with us. After you pay us, yeah. Yeah, I say, then I'm at, you're yeah, out of my after life. After you pay us. Yeah, I don't want to see you no more. I understand. Okay, so well, I mean, I'm not going to write you a bad check. People do it all the time. Well, I don't. You don't know me. Do you? I do not. Well, I hear what you prefer, but that's what I'm offering you. Take me to jail. Well, I prefer to write you a check and it'll be fine. Then you come back. I, did I hide from you? I could have told you I wasn't home. But I just would have kicked the door and came no, down you and found you. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would have. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would have. No, you wouldn't. That I would guarantee be a bad I would have. That would be a bad thing. On who's sorry? Yours. How? Where, where do you have a right to kick down my door? You're the cosigner. I can come in this house any time I want to. But you to. can't kick the door down. Yes, I can. Okay, whatever. I'm going to write you a check. And do that. It's not cash. Not cash. It'll be fine. Well, you might want to do a money transfer. I'm going to do a money transfer. Huh? I can't. I can't do it till tomorrow. You gotta figure it out, man. You can do a money. You can do a wire transfer tonight. I haven't had it. I know how. What are you gonna write a receipt on? Come back and kick my door in three days if it doesn't work. I will. Okay. I'll be looking forward to it. We can find something. You don't have a receipt book, right? No, I don't drive around with my receipt book. Why not? Unless I'm not. Because I'm not at the office. You do understand if this check doesn't clear, that's just fraud. I have fraud. no problem with that. Checks. I'm yeah. just letting you know. I have no problem I'm telling I'm, I'm you just, that. I'm it's just fine. letting you know. If it just doesn't clear, know. then you're in a whole nother shit storm. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the info, okay? So I told him if this shit don't clear, then oh, you know, don't, that's all don't the question. Me, I mean, it, it's... I mean, it's, 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 find it's, me it's, a receipt. Go ahead. I'm not trying to... I'm just letting you know if it doesn't clear, then you can get some other shit. I just say, you don't need to clear rent with me. I've told her all along I'd pay this. Well, you, ain't, you haven't paid me yet. I'm giving you the money now, right? Just right. Pay so if you pay paying 15 grand after I leave, as long as it's clear, you will never get nothing else from me. Well, I'm hoping she gets picked up. I mean, what happens if you pick her up? Nothing? If she gets picked up in the meantime, it doesn't matter. We have a certain amount of time. We're done with okay. it. Okay. Once we cool. pay this court, we're done. She yeah. can do whatever she wants. That's so it. you got, that's what I'm asking. I mean, yeah, you're not going to look for her no more. We're exonerated now. I hate that's to hear it. that. I hate to hear that. There's no purpose in me taking the money, you know? Yeah, I just say, you know, you're asking me if I know where she's at, so I mean, you're all Melissa, good. If Melissa wants to continue looking for her, mm -hmm. she can. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm coming in, I'm coming to give an option, help, the pain, the pain. That's it. If she wants to continue looking for her, she can. But as far as the investment, the money is protected. We're good. That's okay. it. All right, man, that's it. Let me just check for yeah, it. Yeah, it's that's not it. good. Yeah. You know, not, everybody, not everybody's trying to fuck you yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, it, yeah. Once in a while, you run across somebody like me. I'm 66 years old. I own 19 fucking houses, 10 cars. Nothing big deal. I ain't, I ain't a rich man, but I get by. Like when I find when I find when I did the $1,500, I knew I could afford 15,000. Well, I mean, you're smart. Most people go ahead and can't afford to get out of it. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. So you know, you're coming at me like you do everybody else. You're like a judge. Okay. Let's see it. Understood. All yeah. right. Take care, man. Yeah, see well. Not, not every hunt is a uh, kick in the door. Like I said, we're here to protect our money, whether it's a, a misdemeanor or a felony. We put money up to the court. If we don't arrest them a certain amount of time, we will lose that money. For instance, $15,000 was put up for this girl. So he either has to pay that fifteen grand or show me where she is. And he chose to pay the money. So, hey, as long as the interest of the money is protected, you can do what the hell you want. <laughs> All right, so 
after a successful time, well, we got the check, man. So it's time to get some work out here, man. So I'm going to go, um, you know, I'm still getting back in the gym. I'm still rehabbing, man. It's, it's still a process, man. My arm still hurts sometimes, but I'm almost getting back. So I'm going to do some athletic training, man. It's going to be, be fun. It's going to be challenging. I haven't did this type of training in a while, so I'm probably going to be dead. Yeah, guys, this workout killed me. Um, like I said, my arm still bothers me sometimes, you know, um, but it's getting better. So I got to take my time and, you know, keep keep uh, healing, keep rehabbing I, so I can get back to 100 percent, man. But this is definitely a hell of a workout for me. I feel great. All right, this is Coach Cole the Games Speed Performance Academy. You guys want to come out, you want to get some work in. I'm at 18909 South Miles Road. That's 18909 South Miles Road. Right in back of the Word Church. I do a uh, performance training for athletes and things like that. So it's gonna be more, more of a full body type uh, training. It's gonna help you with performance towards whatever sport you may do, okay? And if you're not an athlete or a current athlete, I'll call you an out of sport athlete. It's just gonna help you with your biomechanics, how you're gonna move, things like that. It's gonna help you with your joints. It's gonna help you out with your feet, everything like that. So you can get me at gamespeedpa.com gamespeedpa.com or you can look for me on uh, Instagram and that's gamespeedpa as well. So if you guys want to come out and just get a, a good serious workout in, you want to stop by at Gamespeed Performance Academy. So, going on a friendly visit to the mall, you know, nothing, nothing out the ordinary, me and the family, my daughter, you know, and uh, crazy, who do I see in the mall? Red Dot. Yes, Red Dot was in the mall. So I seen him. I didn't think he'd seen me at first, but he called maybe about 15 minutes after. He was like, I know you seen me. When you just in the mall? I was like, yeah, I was in the mall. And most of y'all gonna be like, man, why you didn't do nothing, man? Why you wrestle? I got my family with me, man. I'm not doing no stupid shit like that, man. I mean, it's, it's not worth it, you know? Told him I'll catch him. I'll catch up with him at some point, which I will and left it at that, man. So, yeah, I actually physically seen him. No, I couldn't call nobody because I would have had to follow him to know where he's at, and then he would have known something. He would have took off running. So at that point, I just left him alone. I'm gonna catch up with him eventually, but that wasn't the time or the place to do anything. So that's so what I tell you guys, you go, you're gonna see people out that maybe you're looking for or you have arrested in the past, man. It's gonna happen, you're gonna see him, man. So that's why I try to treat people with respect because you just never know when you're gonna see him. So, um, I will give him an ounce of little respect, just a little bit, just because he didn't, you know, he could have came up and made a scene. It wouldn't have been good for him, but he could have came up and made a scene, but he didn't. So literally, we're sitting in, uh, in the studio editing the next episode, and look who gives us a call. It's a red dot again. So um, I've literally pulled a favor for this guy. Um, a lot of you can be like, why? Because it's just me, man. At heart, I'm a good guy, man. You know, I don't I don't purposely, me genuinely inside, I like to help people. Just period. I told you I could get you out of no jail. I know you can. You scared to pull up now, ain't you? No, if you want me to, I will. I know you heard what we said yesterday. You ain't never pulled up. Yeah, I'm not pulling up by myself. Yeah, I told you give me about 4 o'clock. You said you were caught back. You never called. Pull up by yourself. Why would I pull up by myself? Then you can pull up on me then. Hey, you ain't gonna touch me. What I need to touch you for? If you paying me money, I can. You I, ain't gonna arrest me, none of that. You know, if you touch me, you know what the fuck gonna happen. Are you drunk or something? No, nigga. Listen, man, this shit's stupid. All that big shit, I got a little ass gun that's gonna put your ass down. That shit's stupid, man. Listen. All right. I can take you up there. You All can go the about your shit. business. None of that shit ain't gonna work. Th that's fine. I mean, it, your you got your shirt on and shit. You weak ass, nigga. Okay. You talking about guns? That that's weak. Long as I know I initially tried to help this guy as much as I can, then whatever happens from this point on, I don't give a fuck. It ain't personal. Um, I don't play fair. So, 
And, and I told him that I don't play fair, man. But neither here or there. Um, he said he was going to turn himself in. Willie, I don't know, man. You know, this is the second phone call I've got from the first one. Him and his boys called, you know, talking shit, man. I, I don't get moved by threats, man. I just don't, man. I don't take it. I don't respect that shit. I don't respect getting th threats with guns. I don't respect it. Listen, man. Listen. Hey, seriously, I'm not trying to argue with you, man. You make more than YouTube, nigga. You say what? Nigga, you hear me, bitch? No, I didn't hear you. You gonna make more than YouTube, nigga. You really gonna be famous. Okay. Are you trying to get this over with or you just wanna talk on the phone? Huh? Are you trying to get this over with or you wanna keep playing with it? I'm, I'm telling you, I put a favor hey, for you. You wanna be over with and keep fucking with me, nigga. Bruh, I can get you in and out. You can go about your way. You never have to talk to me again. Do you wanna do that? Hang up, come get me. Where do you want? I don't need to come get you. You can meet me there. You know, you want my respect, pull up on me, put the guns down, and whoop my ass. <laughs> then you get my respect. But threatening about shooting somebody, man, that, that shit that shit weak, man. That's why a lot of these guys, is, is excuse my language, they pussies, man. They hide behind guns. Then that's what they do. They have, that's it. They hide behind guns, man. It's easy to hide behind a gun. Put the guns down. Come up to a man. And do what you say you're gonna do with your bare fist, man. That's how you get my respect, man. Not not some gun talk, man. It don't move me. So, um, like I said, hopefully he does the right thing, turns himself in. I pulled a favor for him. If he turn himself in to me, I can take him up, he can get summons, and he can go about his way, man. Are you trying to fix this or what? Huh? Are you trying to fix this? I, I live yeah, bro. I, I have more important yeah. like things to do, like like Yeah, I'm trying to turn myself in, bro. You don't need to turn yourself in, is what I'm trying to tell you. I called in a, I pulled in a favor for you. All you have to do is come with me to the seventh floor and you're gonna leave right back out. You're gonna leave right back out in 10 minutes. If you, you seen my video, so you know I'm not lying. I'm saying you wanna, you just gonna send me, uh, take me to the seventh floor. You're gonna come up to the seventh floor. I'm gonna have Tab, he's the, uh, He's the manager. Of the, I'm not lying. Check the videos, bro. I do it to everybody. If you come with misdemeanors. Bro, I'm telling you right now, bro. You do that shit, bro. I, if, 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 bro, if I get in there, bro, they get to the shop my change clothes, bro. And I get out, bro. I'm going to come to your doorstep, bro. Hey, man, look. I'm look for you like look, you looking for me. Look, man, stop. Look, stop. You being stupid. <laughs> even threatening me, man. I'm cool. I'm, 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 I'm a cool ass dude, and I help people, man. I helped you. So I'm trying to help you now. All you gotta do is come up there. I will get you a summons, and you can fucking go. And you ain't never, and I'll never see you again. So if he doesn't do this, then he's just stupid. He's a knucklehead, and he's young and dumb. So I hope, hopefully, he does, because I would like this to end. If not, the hunt's gonna continue, and I'm gonna catch him, and I'm gonna make it embarrassing for him. I am, I am, man, because I think it's a game for him. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. So hopefully, he do the right thing.